So the purpose of today's video is going to be to evaluate quad crossfire with dual Radeon 6990s, which you can see on my bench right now, against quad SLI with dual, 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 dual GTX 590s. So those are about to go on the bench. So I'm going to be using a different test platform from what I normally use. This is a Gigabyte G1 Sniper motherboard and it is running with an Intel Core i7-980X at 4.26 GHz or something like that. So I'm well over 4 GHz. I have 12 gigs of DDR3-1600 RAM. I am using a different power supply as well, but I've got my regular testing hard drive. And then because my external drive broke, I'm using a WD Green drive for my Steam files. So, that is the test bench I will be using to determine which of these configurations runs better. You may have noticed already that it's a little on the warm side, oh no, not warm side, it's a little on the loud side. The reason for that is that you can see these rubber spacers that come on the 6990s. Oh, here, yeah, now you can see it. That is to give it, see, you can see at the bottom it's very close together at the top. It's slightly separated, that gives it a little bit of a gap for that fan to intake air, but it still has to work pretty hard to cool those two GPUs. So, um... It is a little on the loud side. Here you can see my Lost Planet 2 results. I'm going to be comparing the Quad Crossfire against the Quad SLI, and then if I have time, I will also run individual 6990 and individual GTX 590 numbers to compare against their dual graphics equivalents, although it's not equivalent at all. So I've got most of my testing done. Uh, I'm just running the Lost Planet 2 bench on the GTX 590 quad SLI configuration. So of note about this particular video is the fact that I will be using a higher resolution than normal. You can see my 1920 by 1080 monitor is actually back there behind my 30 inch 2560 by 1600 monitor. Also because we are using very high end GPU configurations I will be using higher anti-aliasing and anisotropic filtering settings than I normally do. So I'll be cranking up as high as they go for all of the games in my testing suite, which will be Battlefield Bad Company 2, Crisis 2, Metro 2033, and Lost Planet 2. So for the first three games, I'll be doing my own custom run-throughs recorded with Fraps, and for Lost Planet 2, I'm using Test B. You can see here I have the GTX 590s on the test bench. They're not nearly as loud as the 6990s, although they do get toasty and they do get loud running in a configuration like this, especially that top card, although you can see the spacing is significantly more than we were seeing previously with our other config. You can actually see all the way through it. And both cards are able to sit straight in their slots. Um, you may ask why I chose to use the slots that are right next to each other on this board versus this one right here. And the reason, as you can see in the PCIe slot there, is that this bottom slot is only wired for ADEX. So if I were to use these two high-end GPUs uh, in the top and the bottom PCIe 16X slots on the G1 Sniper, I'd be running them at 16X and 8X mode respectively. And uh, based on my recent testing with PCIe bandwidth, I felt that was not really appropriate. So I would have liked to use the two 16X slots, which is what I've decided to do here. So I will be back with the results once I'm finished running my single GTX 590 tests. All right, guys, so I'm using the latest drivers available at the time of filming and benchmarking, which is all on the same night tonight. And uh, here are the settings that I was using. So Crisis 2 is obviously at maximum. So the game that scaled the best out of the ones in my test suite was obviously Battlefield Bad Company 2. Uh, the 6990s um, actually scaled more than 100%, which makes no sense, but uh, we'll just consider that within the margin of error and we'll call it 100% scaling. And then for the 590s, we saw almost 100% scaling, something like 90% scaling. So excellent scaling on that particular game. 590 scaled very, very well in Crisis 2. 6990, besides the flickering bug, which made the game pretty much unplayable, um, also didn't scale very well. AMD has some work to do on the Crisis 2 performance of their 6990, but I'm sure that's something they'll resolve with a driver issue in the future. Metro 2033, 6990 scaled quite well, uh, adding another 50% performance to itself, as well as the 590. 590 actually scaled quite well as well, but still falls short of the quad crossfire setup in terms of overall performance. On Lost Planet 2, we see very poor scaling across the board. 
and the 590 SLI beats out Crossfire, as well as on uh, Battlefield Bad Company 2, the 590 Quad SLI wins. So basically the objective today was not to determine a clear winner, it was more to look at the state of quad GPU gaming as a whole. I'm not going to say who, but I, well actually, okay, I got blue screens with both solutions during my testing, uh, among other sort of random issues that did crop up. So I would go as far as to say that there's definitely some work to do on the drivers for uh, both of these cards, and uh, but once that's resolved, they definitely deliver some crazy performance numbers in the right scenarios. Remember, these are all benchmarked at 2560 by 1600, so we're looking at Battlefield Bad Company 2 numbers well over 100 FPS.